Hi Capricorn, this is the uh, Patsy here with your reading for November 2017. This is a general reading. Okay, so I've already laid out the spread um, using the Tower of the Orisha cards. <clears throat> the first two cards in your reading, this is a Celtic cross. So, first two cards were Eshu. Okay, a shoe is uh, similar to a legba. A legba is a path opener. Okay, opportunities. All right, uh, clearing the way for you to go forward. Uh, he's also a trickster. <coughs> so, and your other card was the seven of fire. Okay, this talks about someone who is um, just fighting, holding their own. They're fighting the power, standing up uh, to uh, powerful people. Um, but this was also in the reverse. So what this said to me was that maybe you're fighting for an opportunity. You're competing with someone for an opportunity maybe at work. And uh, there seems to be someone that's in your way. Or you put in you put in for a position for a promotion and trying to get a promotion or, or a permission to move up um, and there's someone blocking they they they've submitted their um, resume also and you're afraid that they may be equal to you if not a better candidate than you, you're really concerned uh, that you're not going to get the promotion because of this guy. Um, you have been working there a long time. This is the sixth of earth. Um, you have been working there a long time and your work is good. There's no problem with your work and you've even been recognized for your work. Next card was Shango. All right, this is someone who's looked up to. It was like a teen leader. All right, yeah, very capable person. All right, but it was in the reverse. And what that tells me is even though you are well admired, um, there's something going on with you. There's something that you're keeping from them and that you're hoping doesn't get revealed. So that's another thing that's got you worried. Not only do you have competition, but there's something in your past that you're not too proud of and you're hoping that it doesn't come to light until after you get this promotion. This is somebody who is a very good at their job, a master craftsman. Um... This could be you, or this could be your competition. Okay, um, this person could be a Taurus, or a Scorpio, or a Capricorn. Okay, so it could be you, or it could be the guy that you're competing, the person that you're competing with. Um, he's got slides presentation, pinpoint, you know, all of that. What he's got a displays, you got displays. <laughs> um you you actually are working so hard because you're trying to get a special gift for someone. You want to you want to be able to bring this money in because you want to You want to uplift somebody else. You want to propose to somebody, maybe? Is that what this is? You want to stand up and be a man to someone. You want to be somebody's husband, the center of their universe, the star of their show. <laughs> yeah, you, want, you, need, you need a raise so that you can afford to be a husband or at least present a decent enough engagement ring that will be accepted. 
Yeah, you just can't come with nothing to this girl. You gotta come with something. Eye catching. <laughs> um, but you are feeling confident. Uh, you feel confident whenever you're you're around her. Actually, um, but this has been going on a long time. You 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 came through something. There was some turmoil in the in in your relationship, and you 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 came through, and you're proud of yourself. And you want to reward yourself by getting a raise so that you can give this person that you're interested in a gift. Oh, Capricorn, that's sweet. Um, talks about also taking care of your body, going to the gym, working out. I guess you've been doing that. That's another reason why you're so proud of yourself, right, Capricorn? Because your, your body's looking correct. All your biceps and triceps are doing what they're supposed to do. Mm. You're very creative also. So you're going to find a way to make the presentation so that you can impress the people that you need to impress. But this other guy, he's 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 working on the same idea. Not the same idea, but he, he, he's he got interesting graphics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know how that works. We didn't have to go through all of that back in the day. But you'll see his presentation, and he'll see yours, but it'll, you already have submitted it. They're going to make you all watch each other's presentation. Mm -hmm, yeah. They're going to be watching your reactions also, in case you don't know. I was just told to tell you that. They're going to make you all watch each other's presentations in the same room with them and each other. Like, I see a conference table and lots of people at this conference table. And it's like you... One person gets up and they make their presentation and they s sit down or they answer questions or whatever. Mm -mm. This could also be like in front of one of those uh, boards for uh, college. Thesis. Thesis papers, I I don't know. Yes. A thesis presentation. It could be a thesis presentation. That would end up, I guess, in a permanent position as a professor. Teaching. Mm-hmm. In college, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um, okay. So you're competing for position, perhaps even at a college. But again, you worked before. They know you. You know, maybe you've been working. Um, you know adjunct, part-time, something. Mm, they're going to look at those student evaluation sheets, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to, they're going well, okay. They're not going to read the student evaluation sheets out loud. Maybe. <laughs> but they're going to critique and ask questions about your thesis and they're going to make you stay for the other guy's presentation too or are you going to be invited to come and if you don't come you don't have to come but it will weigh on some people 
you get points, I guess, and some people's judgments for attending that, his presentation, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's how they always do it. That seems kind of odd, but... Hmm. It's a private, it's a private college. Oh, so I guess they can do whatever they want to do, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's what's happening. And you want to have enough of a raise that you can be able to get married and start a family, or at least present yourself. And you want to at least give her a nice enough ring. Okay. So this this card, the next card in your reading is Oba. This is a warrior. All right. This is Oba. Uh, she shakes up the water. She shakes up the wind. She causes hurricanes. Uh, she also passes over the cemetery. The cemetery. She she stands at the gates of the cemetery. Along with her, along with Oya and Yanza. Yeah. But she will go to the limit for what she wants. She's very, very loyal. But it was in the reverse. So, hmm. This talks about something has to be over in order for something else to start. There's something about a j jealousy. Um, talks about unexpected surgery. Says something has to end in order for you to be able to move forward. And it says that you will be sad about it. And you won't understand it at the time. But it is for the best. Or there's a reason for it. Mm. Okay. I'm feeling very lightheaded right this moment. Okay. The next is uh the nine of wa nine of water nine of water this could be someone who's a cancer or a cancer moon in the reverse in the reverse this talks about not allowing don't let your sorrow make you vulnerable during negotiations that affect your ability to provide for your family. Mm. So something's going to be going on. This loss here is going to make you very sad and upset. It's going to take a lot from you whenever this is, whenever you lose this thing or this person, something, something leaves in order for something to begin. All right. So this is a nine. So this is a finality. Something ends finally. But it's saying do not let yourself become vulnerable or to be taken advantage of because of the sorrow. Or I'm just going to say, okay, like if you, if something happens during the time when you're supposed to make this presentation and you have a, a loss, a death in the family or something like that, if you have to choose between making it to this guy's presentation and go into something for your loss, you know, for like uh, a wake or, or something, the funeral, home going. If, 
it may be important that you show up to the presentation for the guy. Wow. Hmm. You ha they're saying that it will be okay. They're saying it will be fine with whoever this person is. It's all right. They won't find it as any dishonorable thing. If that's what ha you have to do in order to get the promotion that you need to get married to the person and whatever. So this is most likely a family member, maybe. And I guess they approve of the person that you're trying to marry. So they're saying to you, don't let... Don't let things in, that are attached to the circumstance, you know, the rituals that we go through with death. Don't make that, don't let that make you miss this thing. That's why we know about it. That's why this came up in the reading. They wanted you to get that message. It's all right if you miss that part of the ritual in order to make the presentation or to attend the presentation of the other presenter. You're competing for a job and that person wants you to go out there and do it. See, ride or die, ride or die. They got you. Your ancestors got you. This is nine, this talks about your ancestors of the nine moons. They want you to have your wishes. They want your dreams to come true. And you're going to be victorious. This is the Ace of Fire. You're going to stand up. You're going to make a beautiful presentation. You're going to speak well. You're going to answer all the questions. You are going to be in command of that delivery. And it's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to get the promotion. Or the rays. You're going to get it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Obatala. This is equivalent in Ifa. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like The Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, right? We have the Trinity. So, in Christianity, we have a Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, right? And we say that that's one God. P.S. We criticize all other religions as polytheists. If, okay, whatever. So, same principle. Olodumari is God, right? There's no images, right? There's no personification. Although Mari is just the creator. So, Obatala is like Jesus and the Holy Spirit in one entity. Jesus and the Holy Spirit in one entity. But there's still a load of mind. God, okay? I know it's more complicated than that. And a lot more. There's a lot more to it than that. But this is the... This card hasn't, hasn't come up in a reading before uh, since I've been doing it online. But this is, this is just, it, mm -mm. so Abatala, his days are Thursdays and Fridays, Thursdays in some parts of the religion, Fridays in other uh, parts of the religion, um, his color is white, and he takes like a white, it's, it's like a rice pudding. <clears throat> All of the offerings, whenever they give it to uh, Obatala, is white. 
He's wisdom. Um, like justice is blind, that kind of thing. Someone who is a quiet person, a person who doesn't say a lot, but when they speak, it's something important. If that kind of a of a of a, of a person, I guess would be the, the equivalent as far as personality traits. Okay, do we give to these Orisha? But he is like the main Orisha, like the other Orishas. For the most part, created by Obatala. <clears throat> there are a few exceptions, but he's like in charge. H N I C at creation. At creation. Mm -hmm. So there's peace up in the corner. But he will go to battle for you. This card doesn't, even if it comes in reverse, it, it will never be reverse. Because there is no reverse. God is just God. There's no changing. There's no altering. I say all of that. First of all, I share about the law. Um, oh, by the way, his um, they celebrate about the law on Christmas Eve. All right. Um, <laughs> his medal is silver, and he was synchronized by the Africans uh, after they were kidnapped and enslaved. They synchronized Obatala with Jesus of Nazareth. Um, our Virgin de la Mercedes and Sacred Heart. Those are Catholic uh, icons, Catholic saints. So when the enslaved came and they looked through all of the saints that they were presented with, when they were forced to become Christian and Catholicism gave them a, uh, a good place, a good system in, to incorporate synchronization incorporate their own deities, the Orisha, and use the Christian saints to cover it. So when you're when you do that, the master thinks that you're praying to his God, that you're lighting candles to his saints. Meanwhile, underneath the altar cloth you you putting your offerings and everything else, but you you are the one taking care of the altar because they make you do everything. They're too lazy to even take care of their own altars. But okay. So the cleverness of the ancestors, they found a way to bring that energy. To, to retain that energy that they had already brought with them and to also preserve it, safeguard it, so that they could give us something. Hmm. To give us something that was ours. Authentically ours. Mm. And they worked so hard to take it from us. And they teach us that this is bad and it's not of God. You do you, boo. <laughs> hmm. Okay, anyway, Capricorn. <laughs> All right, so again, this is a man 
who's standing up for himself. So you're going to make that presentation and you're going to get that promotion. So if you become the boss, be a fair boss. All right. Don't be a jerk. All right. A lot of things were sacrificed in order to get you where you are. You even hurt some people and left some people behind. Things were sacrificed, but it was meant to be. Your ancestors wanted you to have your dreams. God wanted you to complete the cycle so that you could move on. And I guess this card showed up to tell you it's okay. It's all approved by God. No matter what nobody says. Who cares what they think? You got here by your faith. And your hard work. The gifts that God gave you. Um... Remember where you came from, and remember who was there with you, and who was against you. Chan, you're gonna, you're gonna even be able to say, to say who was acting like they was with you, and they sure the heck were not, because there's a bunch of them. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. You're going to be able to separate out who's not for you and who is, who's been a phony all this time. You're going to be clearing some folks out of your contact list. <laughs> You're going to be blocking some people because they didn't have your back. This person did. And she still got sacrificed. She agreed to it, though. Not, re not regretting it. Just honor it. So do the best job you can when you get to that place. The present. I fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present. So there is no regrets, like I said. Live in the present. Okay. Pay attention to the changes that are happening. Take note of them. I would even tell you to keep a diary. Because this... this I get a feeling that this is like... This is going to be something really, really nice. But you got to pay attention to what's going on in order for you to enjoy the fullness of it. This may have something to do with a fire sign. And it might because uh, Leo, the ace of fire, is here. So this may be connected to a fire. Yeah, you have a few fire signs showing up in this reading. Along with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Taurus. Oh, that was the guy. Your competition. And don't be being not nice to him either. If he's still there. After you get the promotion. Don't, don't be. I'm not going to say the other, the word. In the presence of a Batala. <laughs> but. My goodness. All right. Um, and the next card that you got here was ooh, embrace change. Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I move easily and confidently through the changes of my life. Yes. Have confidence. Well, we already know you do have confidence. Very confident person, right? So you have confidence. Embrace the changes. And just keep going forward. 
moving ahead. Ain't no stopping us now, right? Just keep going. Wow. Very nice, Capricorn. This is a one more time. This is work related again. We talked about this last month, didn't we? This is work related again. Capricorn is about their business. All righty. So, <laughs> very, very nice. All right. So, let's see if we can get you some romance in your busy business schedule. Well, I guess you're looking to get engaged. You're going to give somebody a ring. You want to save up enough money to get her a nice ring. Nice. Now, I'm going to say, please don't nobody take this wrong. Please, please, please. I'm just relaying some information. I think it's something that we as a community and a culture need to consider. In some cultures, I'll say in some cultures, living right among us, so all day, all day, every day, nobody's, you know, just some religions. When a guy wants to marry a girl, he has to show up at her parents, her father, whoever her elder male relative is, let's say. Well, at least this is how it was going the last I checked back in the 80s. But this is a good system. I'm sure it still goes on. And maybe it's something we need to start adopting. <clears throat> Yeah, sometimes you just gotta just say something, th certain things, and stop keeping shit secret. Excuse me, excuse me, stuff secret. Oh my, <clears throat> because there's there's wisdom in some of this stuff. You know, like I told you about the ancestral money. Why we didn't know about that? So anyway, you go, you want to marry a girl. So you go, I have your card. I'm going to, don't worry. <coughs> you go to marry, you want to marry a girl and you go to her parents to tell them. In some communities, you have to come there with a insurance policy with the premiums paid up at least a year. And the girl is the beneficiary. You haven't even given her the ring yet. You haven't even asked her to marry you like officially but the only reason the only way her father is going to even would only would even look at you or consider you seriously and that didn't mean he didn't like you or anything like that but you have to come correct and this was come correct you had to show you had to to show that there was a stability that you were going to look out for her future and her stability if something would have happened to you. And there's a, there was a, a, a minimum amount on these insurance policies. <clears throat> and uh, between that and the ring, that was going to be whether or not you got a yes from the dad. And then you still had to get a yes from her. I, I, I watched it through the whole process a couple of times. You know, I knew... I knew People I worked with, men that I worked with, and that's how I know because they would talk and tell us what the ritual was and what they had to do. And it happened a few times. I worked with a few of these people. Nice guys, nice guys, nice guys. And sure enough, they get engaged and their fiancés would come by and there was that bling, bling, Double bling. I mean, beautiful, beautiful rings. But we talk to the to the to the to the fiancés too because it, you know you know you're like part of the family. They were nice, nice people, nice girls, and they were like, yeah, hell yeah, he better had, he could not have gone to my father with nothing less than such and such. So they set a standard. I'm saying all of that to say this. I'm I'm I'm, I'm delving off on your reading here, Cap uh, Capricorn. But this is important business. Some 
we have to start thinking like that. Right there as a, a job creator, why can't we insure ourselves? Maybe they stop killing us, so many of us, if we start taking our insurance policies on our boys. That they have to fucking pay. It's... Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to wash my mouth out. Okay. As much as they, uh, you know, every parent loses a child, they, you know, suffering. They ain't got no shame about putting insurance on their kids. The ones who can't afford it. What I'm saying is those of us who can't afford it. I'm not talking about people who can't afford it. But those of us who can't afford it, stop putting insurance on your children. Money talks. I don't know where that came from, you guys. Maybe we have to think that through. But why not? Right? If they had to pay us, regardless of what a jury said, regardless of what the tape says, anything, but if they have to pay us, The message may come down from up high. And now maybe they're creating millionaires that they didn't intend to create. Huh. Don't say you never... Don't say you never got no pearls of wisdom over here. Every now and then, my egg will send out some good stuff, don't they? That's an interesting concept. Hmm. Pay attention to the red flags. That was your card from the Romance Angel Oracle. Signs are cautioning you. Be careful. Hmm. Pay attention to the red flags. Signs are questioning you. Okay. What's that about? I I have to refocus. I'll be honest. Like, that took me. That took my focus off of this reading. Hmm. Pay attention to the red flags. What? Is that pay attention to signs of cautioning you? Hmm. Extend flirt, extend your light hearted energy to others. Okay, when you're making your presentation, let's try to put some, uh, you know, pizzazz in it, you know. Practice delivery. Try to see if you can get to go to this guy's thesis before you do yours. Let him go first. And you pay attention to any criticisms that they give him, since they want you there. Don't say too much. Listen, pay attention, observe. Take notes if you can. Turn on your cell phone and record it if you can. I'm just doing a suggestion. That's gonna, that would help you. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Oh, yeah. 
Something you didn't want them to find out. Oh, it's about this situation here with this person that you... Oh. That's why this person sacrificed herself. Because she wasn't going to be acceptable... Well, have a way it went. That was the way it was supposed to go. Have a way it went. Mm. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, yeah. You're happy because you got the job. So how long are you going to keep this secret? <laughs> Just asking. I mean, I guess it's okay. About the lot is going to help you. I mean, proud of you. None of my business. So I guess your secret's safe. God's going to... Yep. True love. <laughs> this is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah. Your secret's safe. Yep, they're protecting you. They're not going to let your secret be revealed. There's nothing to be worried about. Okay, I guess that's why the deception card came up, because you were worried. So they wanted you to know not to worry about it. There are times when I need to be alone. Until today, let's see, I'm trying to get the glare off of this. Until today, you may have believed that being alone was bad or frightening. Just for today, allow yourself to explore the possibilities and opportunities that being alone offers you. Hmm. Did you have to... Delay getting engaged or change your mind about giving her a gift once you got this promotion. What, she the boss's daughter? <laughs> what? I respect myself too much to stay in a situation that doesn't honor me. Until today, you may have considered yourself brave for remaining in a dishonorable relationship. A situation because you knew how to stay. Just for the day, evaluate why you stayed and whether or not doing so so has caused you spiritual pain. You're regretting the sacrifice that you made? You got what you wanted. You made a wish it was granted. You told the universe what you wanted and they gave it to you. Oh. Can't have regrets. You got what you wanted. You want to look again for us in the mouth? Still have the money. Right? That's what's important, right? The money. Love is the voice of God whispering to, for you, to you from within. Until today, you may have not realized that the voice of love is God's voice calling out to you. Just for today, listen closely to the voice of love calling out to you from within, and you'll find it everywhere. Maybe the price that you're going to pay for this 
promotion and secret keeping. This is about to love gonna have you be alone for a while. Because that's one of Abatala's attributes. He's very quiet and very wise. He speaks with authority and with fairness. And he listens. Okay, so maybe Abatala is going to make sure that you are alone. So that you can listen, so that you can be more compassionate in your work. I don't know what kind of work this is, but some more compassionate, more thoughtful, paying closer attention <clears throat> to the mission. The, 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 the mission, the organization's mission. Paying closer attention to the organization's miss, mission. Mm. Okay. So if you're teaching. Okay. All right. Then maybe you're going to be alone for a while. It's going to make you a better professor, a teacher, whatever it is, whatever this is. Creator thinks that you do better alone than in a couple. Whatever the, whatever it is, I don't know. Hey. There's reasons that they have monks and priests, right? And people. Some people do better when they're, they focus on their spirituality more. When they are alone, they have more time for these things. Or maybe there's a lot of stuff that you have to learn in your new position. And it would be better for you to be single. As you learn these new things, you'll focus more if you, than if you were in a relationship. That's what I'm... Hmm. Yeah. But hey, the Creator knows best. He knows what's best for us. Because He loves us. He loves us first. The creator loved us first. Before we were even we. Before there was a we, there was a she or a he, a creator. So Capricorn, that's your reading. I will see you all in uh, December. I'll see you also in November for your love bites. Uh, if you missed any last month, they're on the, the channel playlist. Okay, so please... Um, remember to like and to share, to subscribe, share these messages with your friends. If it resonated with you, I'd appreciate it. If you make a comment, uh, you can send me an email, pbtarot7, T-A-R-O-T-7 at gmail.com. So it's pbtarot7 at gmail.com. You can write me an email and uh, tell me what you think. I also do private readings. All that information is available in the comments underneath the videos, um, as are the names of all the decks that I use and different books that I use, okay? So please spread the message. Congratulations on your promotion and uh, try to be a kind leader. Because the same way you you get things is the same way stuff can be taken from you. Just remember that. Creator's always watching. All right. So, 
I will see you in December. I'm going to, okay, so we're going to do the uh, November readings are done. Then mid-November, I'm going to do the Love Bite. In the beginning of December or the end of November, I'll be seeing you for December's readings. I also have been doing some unboxings, and I have a few more that I want to get to. And I want so badly to open these um, cards, but, you know, I'm going to do it with you all. I want everybody to see, you know. Um, I like that. Maybe I'll do it on Facebook Live or um, YouTube Live. I got to see how I can do it so that uh, people, people can see it on both platforms. Okay, so I'm figuring it out. It's coming along. So thanks, to everybody, for watching. And so I'll see you in December. Have a safe uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving. All right, drive safely. Drive carefully. Be kind. Speak up be grateful okay everybody Ashe. amen i love you peace